In the previous video, I showed how to calculate mean or average of a probability distribution. In this video, I want to step back a bit from the integral calculations to talk about interpretation of probabilities. The mean is some kind of measure of what is typical about the distribution. I mean, that's how the word average is used in natural language as well. Something is average if it is typical, in the middle, roughly what one would expect, neither amazing nor terrible. However, the mean is not the only measure of what is typical. Another one you may have heard of, heard of is the median, and I'll define median for distributions later in this video. You may also have heard of mode, and there are mathematically infinitely many such measurements. The general term for these is central tendencies. Average is a central tendency. Median is a central tendency. These are something that mathematically gives some idea of what is typical in a probability distribution. The fact that there is more than one central tendency is pretty interesting. It isn't necessarily obvious in any situation which central tendency is the most appropriate. If you want to use a probability distribution and measure what is typical, well then you have to choose which central tendency to use. And here is the main point of this particular video. The person using the mathematics has to make the choice. The mathematics doesn't tell you which central tendency to use. It can tell you how to calculate them all, but it can't tell you which one is appropriate. To decide which central tendency to use is a judgment call. And this is a really important point about mathematics. Mathematics provides calculation tools, but doesn't provide guidance about which calculation tools actually do what you want. To make use of mathematics requires judgment. It's not just an issue of knowing the calculation, but deciding what calculation is in fact the most reasonable. You want to know what is typical in a probability situation? Well, mathematics provides you with many different answers, and you have to choose which one carries the most meaning. A good example is distributions of wealth and income. Rough figures here are taken from the Stats Canada website in March 2021. The mean or average income in 2018 for Canadians 16 and over was $48,000. However, the median income was $36,400. And that's a pretty substantial difference. Which of these measures the typical Canadian? Well, the user of the mathematics has to choose. For wealth and income, the convention is to choose the medium. But that's a convention outside of mathematics, not inside that mathematics. That's something that the statisticians and the analysts have chosen to use to calculate this sense of being typical. After that discussion, let me actually define the median for continuous probability. As usual, I have a probability distribution f on a domain AB. The area under the curve of f is exactly 1, and that means there will be some number in AB such that the area to the left and the area to the right of C are both exactly one half. This number C is called the median. It's intuitively clear that this is some kind of central tendency. It's between exactly half of the probability area on either side. However, the average also had intuitive clarity to it. And what's interesting, as I mentioned before, is that these two central tendencies can differ. And let me show you an example. I calculated the mean of the distribution e to the negative x, which was 1, in the last video. What is the median? Well, I want some number c that the area on either side of c is 1 half. I'll calculate, calculate the area on the right, so that means that the area from c to infinity must be 1 half. I'll do the integral, and this is an improper integral with a limit, but I've not shown the details here. And if I solve this, I find that c must be the natural logarithm of 2. Ln 2 is less than 1, so the median of the exponential distribution is less than the average. And this matches the example before that I mentioned with income, since income distributions tend to behave like the exponential distribution. What's the true typical value? Is it 1 or ln 2? Well, that's up to the user of the mathematics to decide. 